Hello, Virgo. Hello. Welcome to your February reading. Hello. Welcome to February. <laughs> so we're going to jump right in. Um, it will be time stamped. So we'll do a general reading and then um, we'll do a love reading and then a spiritual message to kind of tie it all together. OK, so for your general energy, Virgo, we have vulnerability, which is meadow, whale breach, earth magic, fairies. And the sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life and abundance. Okay, Virgo. Hmm. February. Okay. February is about you being open to new possibilities, um, to not being afraid of trying new things and being open to things that you might not have been comfortable with before. Um, it's, it kind of creates a gap that's needed. So it, it puts me in the mind of like tight energy and you creating a space in there for things to cultivate and grow and new things to come into your life. And it's interesting because the world is like facilitating this moment for you. So you can have this, this excitement or this change or this new beginning. Um, it's just that you have to open up that tight energy in order to receive it. Um, this is something that you know will make you happy. This is something that will bring abundance into your life. You just have to play with it, you know, like be involved in it and let it be a part of the cycle of things that you have going on. OK, it it's. It's really about letting things grow because you have the opportunity for something to really grow in February, something to really expand. And it's almost like your environment is putting this situation together for you, you know, um, your spirit guides, earth angels, if you will. OK, so we're going to start off with the six of swords in reverse. <laughs> the five of wands and the hermit. The high priestess, I'm going to leave that there because if it comes out, it comes out, right? So you definitely have been overthinking something, like a process in your life, right? This could be love. This could be making some sort of transition in your life. But I feel like it feels big for you. And it's been really hard for you to come to some sort of conclusion to like fully do something. Or it's been really hard, like on the mental state, you know? Um, and, and what's interesting is, especially with the five of wands in reverse, it's like, you are not afraid to face the conflict. It almost just feels like you don't want it anymore. You know, um, with the hermit being involved in this, I feel like you have a set path of what it is that you would like to happen. You're enlightened to what could come out of this and be beautiful. You are. But you're trying not to have so much conflict or so many problems involved with it. It's like, can I just be happy? Can I just do this thing? Can things just go smoothly in this situation? You know, I don't want to have so much internal conflict or outward conflict in what I choose for myself. So with the high priestess. To me, um, Virgo, I just feel like you're following your intuition when it comes to February. It's less about what other people want. Yeah, it's less about what other people want and you following through on what it is that you want. Right. So this is more like what's more important to me. OK, what is the right thing for me? What is the the. This thing that enlightens me, this dominant thought that I'm feeling, what is this? That's the one that you're going to choose to go with, okay? And it looks like it's not the one that has the least amount of conflict, okay? Um, it's like you're tired of resting on something. You're tired of saying no to something, and you just want to do it. It's more for you than anything else, 
You know, it's like, I want to see. It may be rough and it has been rough in the past, but I need to see for myself. I need to do it for myself is what it looks like. Okay. So that domin that thought is dominating. That's what it is. Okay. Um, also, I'm seeing someone, maybe a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or someone who signs your paperwork. I don't know what that means for you, but they um, feel like they have the right plan for you. But you're not going to go with that plan. Okay. You're going with your own plan. You know, it's like I am following my intuition. I'm following what I feel is right for me, you know? Um, it's almost like you're tired of fighting it or you're tired of going against it. It doesn't make sense anymore to not even try. So that's what I'm seeing with this 10 of swords here. It, it's like you need some sort of closure to these thoughts and that's what you're doing. You're creating a breakthrough for yourself is what I'm seeing. Um, Someone may feel like this is a bad decision or this is a bad route. Uh, could be a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, honestly. They may feel like it's a bad route or a bad decision, um, that it's something that you should have put to a rest. Uh, and they, they might have thought they had won this, you know? Or this other side may have thought that they've changed your mind, but you're following your heart. That's what I'm seeing, okay? It's not about, it's not about the burden. It's not about the heaviness anymore. It's really about you creating space for yourself. Okay. So you may be creating space with this, uh, harsh energy, like separating yourself from it a little bit, not letting them feel like they have so much control over your life. You're just doing it for your own self, to be honest. Yeah. See, the nine of cups wanted to come out because it's about your happiness. You know, you're thinking about your abundance, your emotional happiness and what makes you happy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not about what other people want for you. It, it's really not, you know. Um, it could be that you really have strong feelings about something, Okay. And you want to explore that because I, I I just feel like you want to explore that. You don't want to just shut it down like it's nothing. Um, there is some impact on your life. Like it may not last forever. It may create some sort of financial rift, you know, but I feel like it's just about emotional happiness at this moment and the vulnerability of allowing it to happen just so you don't have like those shoulda, coulda, woulda moments. I feel like Virgo. Yeah, definitely listening to your intuition and making a decision. You know, you kept something at a deadlock. I feel like because you really wanted to kind of think it out, but you're at this point where you're you're done using the obstacle as a blockage and you're ready to use it as an opportunity and see why you have something on your mind so much or why you have so much heart for it. Yeah, and it does. Something about this goes against the grain or the tradition or how you used to do things, okay? So it is different, but you're like, eh, you know, I guess you're in that very uh, open moment. Yeah, you're trying to break a cycle. That's what I see. You're trying to do things differently. You want to take a risk and you see something worth taking a risk on. And it may work out and it may not, but I feel like you have enough patience to see. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. Like there, there is some underlying issues, you know, um, you may have to fight some battles, but the thing is, it's like, if I don't do it for me, who am I doing it for? So if it doesn't work out, at least I did something for me. You know, I figured it out if it's for me. Um, you, I feel like you don't want that imbalance. It's more like you want to figure it out instead of letting something, a fear, or someone else make that decision for you. Okay. All right. Let's see what you don't see. Or something you need to know. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. It talks about change this week. Change is, or this month, excuse me. Change will not be easy. It won't. But what this is, is it's about you trying to fulfill a wish and not being so overcome by being disheartened by something that you don't at least try for. That's what this is. Breaking cycles, making changes. If you can get past this, I feel like if you have the inner strength to make it happen, you won't regret it because you attempted to make some sort of change in your life. You attempted to take the reins for something because you wanted a sense of completion in your life. Okay. All right. So let's get into your love. Love. That's where we are. <laughs> okay. So we have angels of all four directions and decrease. New love and deception. Deception. Um, okay. This is a choice. This is a choice in December, okay? Um, or this is two different situations because I feel like and or. That's what it feels like to me. It doesn't feel like it's the same story. Um... In one story, this is more like a Virgo who needs to reach out and open up, you know? This is like creating the full cycle. So so for those of you who like have been talking to someone, but you, you don't want to open up, you don't want to trust them, you don't want to get past some sort of level, this is for you to expand to that level and to do the whole shebang, right? So trust, openness, communication, all of it. It's like just fully open, see what happens. You have to expand. You have to see what's there. And you have the opportunity for something really to grow. Somebody that you can lean on. You know, it, it'll almost feel great. You know, um, you just have to get past that fear that you have. Then there's another one here. Um, I feel like in both of these situations, you've known this person for a while, like there's some sort of structure there already. But in this one, um, there's something that's lacking in this relationship. Um, like, it's almost like you have to convince yourself to give this person a chance. And there's a reason for that. Um, I feel like no matter how many times you reach out to this person, it's like, it just slips through your, like something just fails, right? Or something slips through your fingers. Um, that's a sign of something, okay? Because I feel like this deception card is more about you deceiving yourself that this person, that there's more to this person when there's not, okay? So these are two totally different scenarios, but we'll see how they're connected uh, in the cards, okay? Okay, six of swords, <laughs> same position as your general reading. Two of swords and the queen of wands, all in reverse. Okay. It talks about a rough mental road. Okay. Uh, that's where we were before, a rough mental road and not knowing, not being able to put confidence in. Not knowing if you should be confident in this person or in this relationship or in this situation. Um, in some stand, in some instances, this person puts mental pressure on you. I don't feel like it's on purpose. It's more like this whole situation puts a mental pressure on you. And there's a block about what to choose, um, which way to go, what decision to make, you know, like, 
Should I listen to my thoughts or should I just take action? You know, should I just be confident and act like nothing is the matter? It's more like that. Okay. Hangman in reverse. Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Okay. Some of you question if a person really loves you or not or cares about you. Um, it's something about... Yeah, it's either you don't know if they do. Well, it's both ways. You don't know if they're telling the truth or if they're just not expressing their feelings for some reason. It's like you, you can't read them um, or you don't want to trust yourself to read them, you know? So what's interesting about this is you don't know if you should let it go or stay. Interesting. In both scenarios, you don't know. Um, and it really comes down to, Virgo, this is the thing. You're a person that doesn't love halfway. You don't go into this halfway. So if you do, if you do this, you're doing it with everything, okay? Um, and the question is, can you trust this person to hold you down if you do it all the way? That's really what the question is. And I feel like that's why you're like kind of in it and kind of not, which I can understand. Nine of swords, the sun in reverse, and the king of coins. Yeah, worried and worried, anxiety, thinking, overthinking, kind of in, kind of not. Um, thinking about it a lot, going through the scenarios in your head. Um, I feel like this person that you're dealing with is leaning more towards the negative approach because it's, it's more of that feeling of, I would like to know what's happening or I don't think this person cares about me. Um, but I love them, but I can't make a decision because I don't know their decision. <laughs> so it really comes down to this Virgo. You don't want to get yourself emotionally involved in something that you're not completely confident with. Okay. And that's where you are in February. So let's see. I'm going to pull the two different scenarios here. So this is the first one um, with the not opening up. Being afraid to like complete that cycle. So we'll do that one first. And then we'll do um, the one about the feeling like there's a mask one okay so with the first one yeah you're not sure you're not sure if this person is going to equip you have strong emotions for this person and you're not sure that they're going to meet those expectations or they don't feel the same that's the big thing um because like i said once you make that commitment you're in that commitment you know i really see that for you um it's a really big choice for you. I feel like to you, this will change everything. And you want to make sure that this relationship is strong enough to handle it. That's that's the thing. And you're going to be surprised, I feel like. Um, but the thing is, um, this person may be trying to make you jealous because you're not making a decision, Okay. Um, I think they're trying to put, yeah, they're trying to put stress on you to come in and make a quick decision. So you're going to feel like all this may have been a lie, but I feel like you need to look through it. This is just what they're doing. Yeah. Only thing they have on their mind is getting you to come towards them with a hundred percent energy. That's, that's really what it is. Okay. So for the other scenario, OK, 
Okay, in the other scenario, you've been working really hard on this relationship and you haven't felt uh, emotionally satisfied. Um, for some reason, this is abandonment issues, like scared to abandon something that you've worked on. You haven't really made the choice to move away because I feel like this person is real not good at manipulating you, but good at kind of keeping you on the string, maybe gaslighting your emotions and your feelings. And you're sticking with it due to your feelings of commitment or maybe being married or because you've been together for so long. But it comes down to a point of you're not being nurtured by this person and you're being very, very like overly patient with this situation. OK, you're definitely not listening to yourself. Um, you need to reconnect with what it is that you want. This is a scenario where you need to go a different direction and try something new. You know, don't be afraid to venture out and meet someone else or um, expect like better things for yourself than what it is that you're c currently in. OK, so. All right. Spiritual energy. Let's play. OK, let's tie it all together. We have self-worth. Abundance and mysticism. Yeah, this is about doing it for you. Good title. That came to me before I even started. Okay, so it's about you and what it is that you deserve. You know that you deserve the best. And sometimes you have to realize that. You have to come to that understanding. That's what it is for you. And and believe that and make it a part of like your inner strength to know that, wait, I deserve better. I deserve happiness. I deserve these things. The env your environment can facilitate that for you. Sometimes it's already there. Sometimes it's not, you know, sometimes you have to find it in different places. Sometimes it's in front of you and you just have to realize it. But this is about seeing a situation, whether negative or positive, as an opportunity for you to expand out. So what I mean by that is if you are a person that doesn't have that in your environment, you can find it. This scenario just showed you that this is what you don't want. So now you can find what you do want, you know? So in that scenario, there is positivity there. Um, <laughs> don't try to overthink in February, okay? You can't really plan <laughs> what spirit has for you. You really have to open your eyes to just see it. You'll know it, but things hold us back, like fear or anxiety or change, fe or, you know, Scarcity, fear of change, making decisions. These are the things that hold us back. But you have the opportunity to see that and know what your worth is and what's for you. Okay? All right. So I love you, Virgo. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.